Hello everyone, Andy here, hope you are well. So today I want to test out a product which is the Master Air Screw Stealth Props. These are new props for uh, the DJI Mavic 2. I have gone for blue, you can get these in many colours, but you can see here at the top, that's the colour. So a few things to point out with these props is that the uh, Master Air Screw state that it is improved performance. We have a minus two decibels, um, so that's in the actual noise, it's slightly quieter. It says you can get up to 5% longer flight time. They are 3% less in weight. They reduce the motor um, sort of temperature by 10 Fahrenheit. And in sports mode, it says it's increased power reserve. And then it finishes off with things like improved safety and improved durability. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a decibel test. I'm gonna try it at different altitudes. Uh, I'll do a speed test on how fast the OEM standard props and these new master air screw props perform. Maybe I'll do like a sort of, you know, few feet high up to 100 feet, uh, maybe 200 feet, and let's see how fast the difference is between the two. And to be doing this test, what I thought is, so you get a sort of first person view, I'll be using this uh, GoPro Hero 7, which I'm going to attach to my forehead now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this app that I've got, a decibel app, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three tests. So I've got the drone set to sort of distance of about five feet uh, and height is about five feet off the ground. So let's do a decibel test on that. Okay, so we got an average there of 63.4. Let's reset it. Let's do a recording at 20 feet. Okay, so we got an average there of 59.4. Now let's go up to 50 feet. Now I've tried to go somewhere as quiet as possible for this. And we're gonna do a test now at 50 feet. So we've got an average there of basically 50. So let's reset. I'm gonna bring the drone down, and what we'll do now is we will do a test with the Master S Group Pops. Okay, so we're gonna do the same. Ooh, now that actually, just initially with these new props, it kind of just shot up a lot quicker than the standard props. So this is at five feet, five feet. Okay, so an average there of 59.6. So let's take this up to uh, 20 feet, I think it was. Let's do another test. So an average there is saying of 56. Reset, and we're gonna go up to 50 feet. They do have a slightly different sound to them. I'm not sure exactly how to describe it, but they do sound slightly different. Okay, I'm at 50 feet. Let's try and do a test now. So the average on that was 50.7. Okay, so this is the altitude chest with the OEM props in sport mode from five feet to 200 feet. Okay, so we're at five feet for this test up to 200 feet and we're in sport mode. Now we have it. Okay, so the Mavic is back. And what we're gonna do now is, because um, obviously I've not actually been able to look at the before and afters, let's do a little comparison test of the OEM props against the new Master Air Screw Stealth props. Okay, so what I've done is I've compiled kind of all the different tests that I've done. And what I'm gonna do is um, show a table, which I'll probably pop up here while I'm talking through uh, my findings uh, and the results of each of the tests. So, 
the first three are the decibel tests so the 5 feet the 20 feet and the 50 feet we can see the OEM was 63.4 against the stealth new props which were 59.6 so actually that's quite drastically less that's actually more than minus two decibels that was stated. Uh, 20 feet, we've got 59.4 against 56 decibels. Again, that's a, a decent decrease. Um, then it does go up ever so slightly, but pretty much one decibel. It's saying it's higher at the 50 feet. But I feel like it's quite tricky to uh, do it at that point because 50 feet is quite high and it might be picking up um, sort of other ambient sounds that are in the area. So I think I'll let it off for that one, but that one was a definite pass. Um, quite pleased with that. And also, I think I even said in the video, it does sound ever so slightly different. I can't actually describe exactly how or what, but for the reduction in noise, there is a definite improvement on these new props. Now, what I did with this one was now I'm not too sure exactly if this was going to work or not, uh, but I thought I would show the findings anyway. So I did a test from, I was trying to do 50 at uh, five feet. I was trying to go up to 200 feet um, and they were basically exactly the same. Uh, nothing really between the two of them. There's too many parameters that could be involved in that. Like there was a slight difference in where they set off from. You know, there could have been slight difference in the air or wind, but basically they were identical. Now it does say it's faster in sport mode. Now maybe another test would have been, you'd have to have maybe done a long distance of flight in a straight line in sport mode. But the problem with tests like that is you need a really, really good controlled environment because the thing is you've got too many parameters. You've got the heat, you know, you've got the wind um, that could be affecting the flight for uh, things like that. So this one was um, one that I'm sure my neighbors were very happy with. <laughs> I was doing this in the garden, which I'm gonna show you now. It was the only way um, that I thought I could do this in the most controlled way possible. Because um, our garden's quite sort of um, narrow, uh, I was trying to do it so that um, it was a bit of a windbreaker and keeping the drone extremely low. It was only, I think, one and a half feet off the ground, about 1.6 feet. What I did was charge the battery, get the battery in the drone, uh, the control pad was fully charged as well, just to make it uh, the same and I straight away got the props on and just lifted up just to get the drone to take off, um, which it then hovered at that sort of one and a half feet mark. And um, in both videos, you can actually see that it was fighting against the wind. Um, so there was wind in the end. I didn't sort of realize it myself, but it could be also just the GPS trying to you know, keep its location. So if you see in the sort of time-lapse video that I've done, you can see how they are both shifting fairly similar but what I will say is in in person in the defense of the um, master air screw prop props I think there was more wind at that point but these were pretty much the same the the actual OEM ones say we did it in 24 minutes and four seconds and for the stealth it was 23 minutes and 23 seconds so it's basically I think more than um, half a minute less but as I was saying, it's a bit tricky because to do it in a controlled environment, I think it'd have to be in a really enclosed kind of warehouse or something to be able to get that. So I'm kind of gonna call that a bit of a draw because in person I did notice that it was windier um, when I set off with the drone in this one and it was after. Granted, it was probably about half an hour later. Uh, the drone may have already been a little bit warm, so that could have affected it as well. But that brings us on to the next point, which is the fact that the temperature, which was one of the features, again, uh, stipulated by uh, Master Airscrew, was that the temperature was supposed to be less. And when you look on the screen, I'll show you now the screen grab that shows both the time, but also you'll see on the right-hand side the temperature. So the OEM ones were registering at 56.4 Celsius, whereas the drone with the stealth props was registering 24.7. So I think that's quite good. That's a nice little, little decrease there in temperature, which, is going to be only a good thing and then last but not least i did a weight test this actually was quite a lot less so the oems were eight grams and the stealth ones as you can see are only six grams so a two gram difference there that's a 25 percent reduction in weight which is quite a lot but i think from what you can see um, these are better than the oem props in various aspects and um, what they stipulate is true um, especially in the decibel test i think um, that proved quite well that they are um, a, quite a quite a bit quieter really good few decibels more than the minus two that they stated 
One thing that isn't mentioned by Master Airscrew is the cool factor. Now, I think these look really cool. Um, definitely prefer these than the kind of dark greyish black props. I mean, I think the blue against the grey looks really, really cool. Um, my other choice probably would have been orange. Um, but the reason I went for blue is just because uh, it kind of matches with my theme on the channel. I've sort of had blue accents in the past, so that's kind of why. And actually, one last point I did want to mention was that these props... One thing is these are more glossy and these have got like a satin finish and it's very, very hard to sort of pick up, but the um, there's not really much difference in the shape, but they are, I would say, about two millimeters longer than the OEM props. Now, I think in summary, for the price, I do think these are worth it. Uh, if you are interested in looking to buy some of them, I will put a link into the description where you can purchase them. And I hope you've liked this video. Um, I've tried to do as in-depth sort of test uh, as possible. And if you have enjoyed it, then please give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Okay, that's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. We've got some fantastic sunny weather in the UK here at the moment. Right, I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.